Hey guys, welcome again, and uh, today I'll be actually talking about the Google Launcher, which is now new and it's fully functional now, especially for the Note 3s. If you have one, you can now obtain one, and I've got to tell you, it does work. It's buttery smooth. I have no trouble whatsoever, and I absolutely love it. Uh, this is the version of the, the KitKat version, in other words, uh, that uh, it will well it's actually been released already though but uh so far for uh the note 3 hasn't yet uh, and for some other phones as well but you can still get this and consider it an official uh release of course but it's all over the internet right now uh i will provide the link description down below so you can actually go ahead and look at it and just directly download the apk and install it so first thing i want to talk about is the uh the google now Google Now, it's one of the hottest things out there right now, and, and it's absolutely wonderful. Uh, from here on the launcher, I'm actually able to access uh, the Google Now anywhere I'm, I'm at right now. So let's say, for example, uh, if I want to look up for something, I could just say, OK, Google. OK, Google. There you go. It just picks it up. I just got to do a couple of things. Let's try it a couple of times uh, for for it to pick it up uh, good thing is that Google now is always listening uh, regardless so so it, but the downside is that if you actually are in an application it'll stop listening it, is, it will not work all the, otherwise you're actually in the actual launcher itself um, another thing is the so you can see just swipe to the to the right and you get the Google now you see all the cards here and there you know of course but uh that, that's pretty much it you know it's not much uh, of a big deal though but it, it you just don't have to have like the ability now to, uh, like from some other phones to let's say for example for the note 3 pretty much hold down the the power button or the home button I'm sorry and just simply tap right here for example for in my, in my case tap right here and it'll just send you directly to Google now I don't need to do that anymore with this launcher now I can just simply swipe to the right and this is what I get though right away and of course Google now still actually shows on the on the the toolbar up here the search bar uh, this is obviously uh, I can't remove it at all as you can see if I hold it this is already implemented in there to see like it's one of the features that they want you to use all the time so it's always listening. Uh, you can actually open applications, but you cannot manage any hardware functions. If I say, for example, OK Google, turn on Wi Fi. OK, right now it's uh, recognizing. I'm pretty sure it's because I have pretty poor signal where I'm at. Okay, it's really not working right now. It's just I have poor signal. Sorry about that. Uh, but in general, like, the launcher works flawless. You know, it works buttery smooth. Uh, you know, it's no complaints at all. I can actually have, you know, as you can see, I have folders here. Uh, it looks really nice and neat. It's very colorful, very vivid, and it's really nice, actually, to have this on your phone. And technically, you know, it it, does, it uses uh, a good amount of uh, battery life. You know, it, it doesn't drain it like that crazy. But it's really, really good, though. I, I for my Personally, I really like it, though. It's very intuitive, very simple to use. And one thing I noticed, too, is that some of the launchers I've used, uh, they don't have, like, they don't have the ability to have folders uh, right here, right on, over here for some reason. Um... I don't know if they, this is new. I'm, I don't remember exactly. I can't really tell. But this actually uh, works. You know, it, it's pretty cool to have folders down here also. You know, for for the things like in my case, like to have Hangouts and Messages at the same time. The only one place where I can access to it much faster. Um, another thing is, let's say, uh, I don't know. For like my case again, uh, if you actually happen to go to uh, uh, let's say settings uh, in this case let's say I want to go settings uh, I get the option right here as you can see you get wallpapers widgets and settings but in, in this launcher when you go to settings you tap it and it sends you to the Google settings the Google now settings pretty much 
you know it's nothing like what you're expecting uh, to be for example like in my phone the settings I'm expecting is pretty much this you know this is what I'm actually expecting to see you know but in this case this is what I get pretty much uh, but it's okay I, I it, it's part of it you know it's part of the what they actually decided to do uh, of course you, so you can modify whether you want Google now or not if you want to modify some things one some things that you uh, want to say if you want to change your language uh, things like that uh, and uh, about widgets it really has not much changed uh, it really looks pretty much the same uh, you know it's the widgets are widgets of course but the layout itself it changed a bit you know it's just make it look more probably fancier the icons are more uh, three-dimensional and uh, they look more vivid you know more colorful pretty much uh, that's pretty much it that they've done so far you know it's still like the standard uh, how it's how Google wanted to have it but of course in a much better looking way and wallpapers of course you get tons of it you know uh, pretty cool uh, wallpapers new ones uh, you can still have your own wallpapers if you choose to but you know it's still the same thing it's very very simple to use you know and like I said it's buttery smooth as well especially I mean I'm using no three so a tremendously fast phone but every other phone out there should work flawless another thing I want to point out is that once you download this launcher there's a thing that I actually had trouble with for example uh, you see like when I let's say I I want to look for the weather what what's the weather oops weather like for example if I wanted to go uh, just do a Google search uh, based on the what the weather it's like uh, right now I'm actually able to do this uh, but compare it to before like uh, once I install this application um, or the launcher I'm sorry when I installed it I wasn't actually able to search through uh, Google now because uh, for some reason uh, it, it, there was I, I don't know if there is actually a bug or maybe uh, just the, uh, the the import uh, kind of thing that you know uh, transferring the the launcher from KitKat all the way from other versions that which is unofficial which caused actually to uh, uh, malfunction and not work properly but I gotta give credits actually to the XCA developers if I'm not mistaken uh, these guys actually uh, they figure out a way actually to have uh, this fix pretty much uh, there is a there's a fix out there that you can simply download copy and paste it into the system file of this uh, in the phone itself uh, when I say system files that means you had to have your phone rooted uh, I'm sorry for those that wants this launcher and if you're not rooted it's not gonna work but you can still use the launcher it's just that if you encounter this problem that I'm explaining to you you are probably gonna not gonna like it you probably will uninstall it and it's just too bad you know you need to have the phone rooted for this uh, for you to copy this uh, system file and and to do this you basically when you have let's say uh, this uh, file ready to be copied and let's say moved from wherever location you downloaded from to the system file which is right here for example I just had I just opened the root browser oops okay go to root browser let's go to jump to system root which I'm already at now for those wondering where you copy this file when you get it but don't worry guys I'll provide the link description the download the script, uh, the download uh, file for you to get this uh, if you choose to do that um, you see on system right here on system folder you access this you get in and you look for the folder called lib uh, or library I believe it's called there you go lib uh, from here you just simply move the folder that contains all the files that will fix this problem once you paste it here it will ask you to, if you like to override the existing file you're gonna say yes 
that way you actually be able to fix a problem so uh, I suggest you when you do that reboot the device and it should actually work just like just like mine did though. Mine worked like the first time I actually copied in or I mean move it and just literally like paste it right at the system folder and it just works great though. So I hope you guys like uh, you know really enjoyed this video and really like this launcher. It works flawless to me. It works great. It hasn't crashed or anything. So any comments uh, you know I will try to respond if you have any questions uh, like I said I will provide uh, the link description and I mean I mean well we'll provide the link description of course uh, and uh, the download links as well to you to get this application if you wish to get it uh, everything else uh, thumbs up if you like it or not uh, maybe thumbs down and maybe if you choose not to like it um, but uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. So, uh, well, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time, though.